the work week could end with hundreds of local hotel workers walking out of the job. Last Friday, employees at the Hilton Baltimore voted to authorize a strike. They can't reach a deal with the hotel company. WMER 2 News' Jack Watson has kept track of the story for us. Jack, where do we stand tonight? All right, Kelly, tonight a union leader tells me they'd prefer not to strike. But if things get to that point, the option is on the table. You can see it in the outfield at Camden Yards, in a stone's throw down Pratt Street from the convention center. Soon, the workers that keep the Hilton Baltimore running could walk out. What we're seeing is that the hotels are full, but people's real, real income has declined. And Union President Tracy Lingo tells me things have worsened for her workers since COVID. Their contract is set to expire on Thursday, and they want a wage that keeps up with hotels in neighboring cities like D.C. and Philadelphia, with the goal of getting from just over 16 right now to at least $20 an hour with raises throughout the deal. I think people don't want to strike, but if people need to strike, what the workers are saying is that we're ready to do that if that's what we need to be able to sustain our families. Just over two weeks ago, dozens of local hotel workers picketed in front of the Hyatt, whose workers are in separate negotiations. People cannot live on those wages. It's completely unrealistic. On Monday, Hilton sent WMAR a statement which read in part, quote, Hilton has an established track record of successfully negotiating labor agreements with Unite Here Local 7 and is committed to negotiating in good faith to reach a fair and reasonable agreement that is beneficial to both our valued team members and to our hotels. The union believes what it's asking for is reasonable. Lingo tells me an internal survey showed almost all of their housekeepers had trouble paying rent or their mortgage in the last year. I think when Hilton says they can't afford it, what they're really saying is we didn't budget for this raise. And I think those are very different things. I'm told talks last week were not very productive. There are more dates ahead on the calendar this week and this month, and Lingo hopes the company comes back with a stronger proposal. Our members absolutely love the city. They love being ambassadors of the city, and all that we're saying is that we want to make sure that the money that comes into our city through tourism stays in our neighborhoods and benefits our city. Well, authorizing a potential strike was nearly unanimous for the workers who voted. We're told 200 workers, about 97%, voted yes, Kelly.